I'm Paige. Hi, nice Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Renee. Hi, Renee. Good to meet nice you guys. To meet you. It's so nice. A lot of potential here. Wow. So wait, how many flips have you done together? We've done seven. Oh, it's okay. This isn't brand new to you, but this is brand new to you. Yeah. It's our first million dollar acquisition. We had to throw in some eights for the good luck for Chinese New Year. What? Yeah. I love that. That's how you got it. There was a bidding war. There was probably about 30 other bids. Pretty intense. The more intense is we did with no inspections, no contingency. That's scary, a million dollars on an as-is house. Yeah. yeah, that's big. Yeah, different clientele, right? Different taste. And um, we're, we're not sure what, what that looks like. Then that's the, the, the difficult part right now that we're trying yeah. to come to an agreement Which way with. to go? Exactly. So you've been flipping more on the modern style, newer homes? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we've uh, you know we've been partners for about three years now. But okay. We're, we're colleagues at work, so we met there. You know, he didn't rub me the right way. What? Uh, yeah, I, Wait, I, there was friction here? A little, a little bit. bit. We met for some beers. You know, I kind of told him what I felt. He told me his piece, and okay. end of the day, I think after a few beers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Your old friends. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a beautiful house outside. We'll see what we can do inside. You want to take me on the tour? Let's do it. Okay, Go. I'll follow you guys. All right, sounds good. <laughs> well, this is it. This is it. Wow, look at this room. We don't know what we need to do because we want to restore it. Okay. But at the same time, we want to modernize the space, right? right. Um, so we have some originals under here. Oh, yeah. Can I pick this up? Go ahead. Oh, it's my favorite part of my job. Do it, do what? it. What? What? Let's see. Oh. Okay, I'm fine. Okay. Looks like <laughs> Looks pretty nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. Can you imagine covering up all that beautiful hardwood? I hope it's in good condition. So the fireplace, the mantle is beautiful. This was one of the pieces that we already made a mistake with. What happened? The original tile, it was like a four by four small green tile. We learned later after going to like an antique shop, that tile, I guess it's called a groovy tile from the yes. 1920s. So uh. I was voting to keep it and let's restore it, but uh -oh. He didn't like it, so. It didn't uh -oh. look good. It, was, it looked dirty and old. Each tile was $200 each. And we broke it up and we threw it away. I wanted to update everything. It didn't go with everything. <laughs> oh, Ed, like you just had it smashed up and threw it away. Yeah. It's $200 a tile. It's okay, it's okay. Let's just keep going. Okay, this is a beautiful living room though. So nice and spacious. We really love the, all the trim is all intact too, yeah. right? And I think that keeps the really craftsman character. For sure, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, and now. This would be the, the communal bathroom. Oh, my It's actually gosh. in good condition. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad you didn't throw that away. <laughs> sure. uh, we'll have a dual vanity here, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna have a clawfoot tub. Nice. So these gentlemen, they are just so sweet, okay? We have Ed and we have Renee, and they are not first time flippers. You know, they're used to flipping a modern home, and they just got stuck because they don't know what to do with a craftsman. So that's why we're here. Yeah. But they came into a two bedroom, one bathroom house. Mm -hmm. So they've created a second bathroom and they have two bedrooms. Oh. But where's the main? So they made this bathroom. This is an, mm -hmm. okay. I would have never redesigned the floor plan like this, but I'll show you what we're stuck <laughs> with. We're stuck with this main You're bedroom. There's something about it. Okay, follow me oh, on this, on this field trip. Stop. We're in the main bedroom hallway. No lies. <laughs> We're looking where the main bedroom is. Mitch. Oh, so they're adding it. Yes. Yeah, they're going to add. What do you got to, about 500 square feet ask, out there? Exactly. Now we have to ask, well, where's the new back door? This was the kitchen, and it's now going to be an office. OK. I wouldn't even imagine it like this, actually. It, it's, <laughs> it's not going to be like it. We're going to change it around. I think we're going to have to. Here's our next challenge. Because they purchased this property for over a million dollars, we have to make this design worth 1.4 million. I mean, we without the square footage. We can do it, but we're, we're just gonna, gonna have to move some things around. We're gonna move some things around. And then we have to see how much that's gonna cost. Yeah. Versus what they have left. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, let's talk about layout. Thoughts, options, layout. This is my biggest it's awful. like no. Because just imagine it can't happen. if this is the <laughs> island. If you have two feet on this side, well, here it is. Here's the whole island. They I already mean, have it mapped out. There's no formal dining room that could go here anyway. No. And then, so this is my space between yeah, the stove and the island. Yeah, it's this right isn't right. This can't be it. And then look it. Oh my God, I have to go run to the refrigerator. Hold on. Stove, it's a lot. I think the office is a cute idea, but I think 
moving the kitchen towards where it was originally is, Way is nice. Idea. It feels Way good idea. and it allows us to kind of mess around with this hallway. Yeah, this office, unfortunately, is just it's gonna going. have to go. So if we did have an island here coming through to about, let's say, here, you have a comfortable amount of space right, to go around. All of that, that's a good, what, foot right it's there. It's perfect. It's yeah. gone. You don't exactly. need, you right. don't need yeah. more than that. No. We need 36 inches right. plus to have a washer and dryer. We're close. I think the laundry needs to be at the back. We just need to move okay. everything up a little bit. Right. That's fine too, because this is long. We have, yes, that's what we I'm saying, length. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This was the breakfast nook that had the double French doors. So those are original. Oh my God. So they put them on the front of the house. So they saved as much as they could, but let me tell you, you guys are gonna die. They had the original 1920 tile that surrounded the fireplace. And they took and it out. Ed broke it up because he said he wanted modern. And then they went to the antique no. store and found out that it was worth $200 per square tile. Ed blew it. He was I sick. <laughs> so they stopped and they said, don't touch anything else. You see, they just stopped. They were like, right. so now they're trying to preserve as much of the original character as they can. Okay, did they throw it out or did they have it? I don't know. As we all suspected from how easily the carpet came up, the wood floors were in pristine condition. Absolutely perfect. This will keep us on budget and on our two month schedule. All right, guys. Let's tackle these babies. Paige, get out. Oh, cheers. cheers. Let's go. Come on now. Come on, bro. Go viral. Stimulate. Pretty good gang. When this kitchen's completely opened up, it's going to be so beautiful. Come on. Right, guys? <laughs> oh, let in the light. Let it in. Look at that. Oh. Awesome. Damn, yeah. It's already so opened up. It's like, so pretty. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So so With the office wall now down to open up the kitchen's new footprint, we can focus on another wall that needs to come down that never should have been put up in the first place. Yeah, let's get this down. You Beautiful. guys ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pull it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Watch your face. Okay. Wow. Oh my god, I love this. Oh, it's there it is. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Look at how it just opened the whole room up even more. So when you walk in, this will be what the buyers see first and not this island. Yeah. yeah. And it brings back all of those old kitchen nooks yes. that used to have in like the 60s and the 50s. So nostalgic. This place all of a sudden feels way less closed in. Yeah. All right, y'all, come on. <laughs> Let's talk in more work. Rip this baby out. Let's go. Watch out with the roach. Watch out with the roach. Roach. It was a spider, it's not a roach. Oh, if it was a roach, I would have jumped out the window. <gasps> now that we have a much better layout plan, Ed and Renee's construction team is back at the house, following through with their original color choices and selections. These guys oddly have a great design sense, so they are way ahead of the game. Meanwhile, even though Mitch will only be supervising the new home addition, he can't help himself from getting his hands dirty and starting off projects on good footing, literally. Wow, Mitch, you've gotten so much done out oh, here. Oh, with my bad hands. <laughs> right. <laughs> you did all this by yourself, huh? Nice. Yeah. The entry, small hallway, mm -hmm. bathroom on the left, and there's actually a door here Walk in, into your bedroom, into your bathroom. Put the bed right bed here. Bed over here, closet over here. I see that. Patio out the back here, yeah. yep. It's gonna That's open gonna up nice. to the backyard, it's gonna be great. And it's so nice, because there's still so much space back here. Yeah. This is coming together. It is. All right, so yeah. two months. Right, uh, yeah, so. That's good. Australian weeks are like, you know, seven day weeks. We work much harder down there. <laughs> I believe that. You get, no, you get twice as much for your money. Thanks, get back mate. over here, no worries. About five weeks in, our little craftsman is really taking shape. The fireplace was prepped for our new replacement tile. We added finishing coats of white paint inside and out, while also adding black paint to the trim for a striking contrast. We 
even added the backsplash tile to the new kitchen area, piece by piece. The Flipper's ADU is really coming together, including getting the framing all covered in drywall and ready for their finishing touches. And I was especially excited about the ADU's back deck, right off of the French doors. And finally, Ed helped Mitch get his custom-made bench secured into the nook that they were going to cover up. You guys, we've made it after everything we went through yesterday. You guys, I want to thank you because you really let me push you in this house. I'm glad we, we consulted you and you convinced us because I really <laughs> love the layout. I think it good. has a much better flow and oh, good. It, it's, it's amazing. Good. I think we really hit the nail on the head with what we ended up with. It's light, it's airy, but we kept the original character of the house, 100 years old. I think it came out really pretty. Hey, Brandon! Hey, hey good to see good you to see again. You too. These are the Renee. flippers I nice told you about. Renee, Renee and Ed. Ed. Brandon, nice and to meet you. And this is the superstar realtor, Brandon, local in the area, all things Koreatown. So I want to walk him through the house, and then I'll come back and grab you guys. Yeah, How's that sound? Sounds good. OK, all right. all right. Come on in. Welcome in, our craftsman. Wow, this is cool. The wood flooring is original? 100 years old. Awesome. <laughs> this is obviously original molding. It is. Right. You changed the tile out on the fireplace, but the mantle's original. You are correct. OK. This is the replacement. We really try to you know, bring the character back in a craftsman way around this fireplace. Yeah, good job. I actually, I love the tile. It has a splash of contemporary, but it also has the elements of older styles that you yeah. see everywhere in here. Wonderful. I think it's a great choice. Thank you. It pops out, too. Uh, the good news here is that you've got these old elements, but then you've got modern yeah. stuck in and contemporary stuck in. Definitely, people are buying things because of style, mm -hmm. and so that's definitely a good Wonderful. Yeah, Yay. Style. It looks great. So back here, this is still part of the original house. We have a full bathroom. Wow, this looks great. I love the colors, the brick wall. Original. Kept it, did not put a wall over it. That's, that's important. That too, yep. Yeah. Love the closet tub. Original. Nice. <laughs> the finishes are great. I love it. What I like about these flippers is that they already had a lot of their materials. You know, they do really well in design. This was just a really hard floor plan for them to figure out. So honestly, I can't take full credit for the bathroom because they already had this picked out. And it looks great. It went with the whole theme of the house and uh -huh. still added character. That's great. The main thing is that we wanted to make sure they did not cover up the brick because it's so beautiful. Yeah, I it just is. love it. It's such just a good story point again. This is the first bedroom, still original to the house. OK. Nice. A lot of natural light. Yeah. I'm glad it has three windows instead of one tiny one. I know. Like, so many of the old school houses have that, right? Uh-huh. So this was all original. We uh -huh. just came in and spruced it up, staged it really well, and there's a lot more to show you. OK. So our tour continues in our dining room. Nice. I love the wallpaper. People are going to love that. We really wanted the eye to go to the nook that you've already noticed, which they were about to close up. So we opened it back up, wallpapered it. Mitch, who's our contractor, came in and built an original bench in there. And that was the focal point that I really wanted to have when a buyer walked into this room. Yeah, it looks great. I love the fact that he used wood, and it matches the floor. It just all matches. It goes well. Now, we stage it as a holding room, you know, just to show a buyer how big it is. We didn't want to put a formal dining room table here. OK. This is original. It is. Nice built-in buffet. And I love all of the original elements that you kept in here. Yes. I love how much space there is in this room. Wonderful. 